Hi everyone, just a real quick update. In case you haven't noticed, it's incredibly warm in the UK at the moment, but I just wanted to kind of make a quick update video, let you know what was going on and give you some insight into kind of how things are going for us on the course here at Warwick. So hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Ollie. I'm a third year, very soon about to be final year, graduate entry medical student at the University of Warwick. So up and down the country, COVID has kind of wrecked everything, including medical school placements, because obviously we were um, unnecessary personnel in that sense. So while we were able to work in support roles, which has been an awesome experience, and I'll talk more about that in a sec, our placements as such, where we were learning and getting clinical experience, all of that had to stop. For me, that's now going to recommence on Monday, uh, this coming Monday, the 29th of June. And I think we're potentially the first med school in the country to go back. That could be wrong, but I don't know of anyone else going back quite this quickly. Obviously, this is because my year is due to sit our final exams in April now of 2021. Actually, we need to still make up for loads of lost time. We've lost our elective, which sucks. Um, normally, at the end of medical school or towards the end, you get the opportunity to go usually abroad, but you can do it in the UK, spend four, six, eight weeks doing some project or some specialty that you're interested in. So for me, um, would have done a placement in neurosurgery, for example, but because our exams have had to be pushed back and because we have so much clinical teaching to make up, we're not getting our electives. That sucks, bit sad about that, but that's the way it has to be. So I'm going back onto my acute medicine block. You do different specialty rotations here at Warwick during phase three. So I just finished on psychiatry, uh, or we were finishing just as COVID kind of hit, which I enjoyed more than I was expecting. Now I'm going on to acute medicine, which is kind of renowned on the course for being one of the better blocks. So that's things like emergency medicine, intensive care, you know, acute internal medicine, acute cardiology, casualty, ENT, a good mix of, of the acute stuff. And it's kind of appreciated that it's those more acute blocks where you learn a lot of the really important clinical medicine. So we've been off placement, I guess, for all of May, all of June, getting on three months, I suppose. It must have been the end of March when we finished. Do I feel relaxed or, you know, rejuvenated because of all that time off? Um, no, actually, I feel really tired uh, because between a mix of working um, in the NHS as a kind of medical student support, healthcare assistant type thing um, in an acute department, in acute cardiology, um, my sleep cycle has had to be all over the place because I was working to what the nurses would find most useful for me to work to shift wise, not what I was actually roted for. So my body clock for the last month and a bit has been absolutely all over the place. But then because we've got our job applications coming up in October um, as well, I've been trying to, you know, rapidly just crank out projects and things to make sure that they're ready and done, getting papers submitted, doing a systematic review at the moment, about to start another one, entering lots of these medical essay competitions, which I should probably make a proper video on um, in the future. But I'm, I'm just trying to use the time productively, been doing a virtual elective with Medics Academy on social media medical education. I've got this internship with ASME, the Association for the Study of Medical Education, trying to draft a project that will see me through to finals. And basically all these things going on at once, getting very little sleep for protracted um, periods of time. It, that's basically why there hasn't been any um, YouTube content in the last couple of weeks. Um, I think it's it's the longest, actually this break that I've had, it's the longest break that I've ever had on the YouTube channel since coming to medical school. So it's about 12, 13 days, um, something like that. But that's that's going back to normal. We've got a new video coming on Sunday, looking at tablet um, for note taking and things like that. And then I'm hoping twice a week, um, beyond that so probably Wednesdays and Saturdays or something like that will make it work but I want to get back on the regular programming particularly with people sitting the UCAT and applications and things coming up there's still lots to do we're going to be having a lot of teaching online um, clearly which is both an up and a down um, for me because I'm not actually looking forward to being sat in front of a computer um, all day it's, it's weird because it's one of those things that if I'm working on things like video editing or 
uh, you know, scripting or things like that. I can do that for an hour, for hours and hours and hours. But when it's going to be information governance and things like that, I might find it a bit more trying. Um, but a lot of it is being done virtually through platforms like Teams. But thankfully, in the acute block, we're still able to go in. I've got some really good departmental shifts. I've got medical decision unit, I think, on my first day. Um, when we go back, I've got an eye casualty session that I've seen. Um, the nursing team on, on the acute cardiology unit, the assessment unit, have said that I'm very welcome to come back and do some shifts with them um, as a medical student rather than an employee, I guess, which I'm definitely going to do. And that's the last thing that I want to talk about, actually, because I had my last day um, last week on the cardiac assessment unit, again, CNP run unit. So I was dealing more with nurses than I was with doctors although there were registrars around. Um, I was doing lots of history taking, bloods, ECGs, writing up prescriptions, a lot of the stuff that I will have to do as an F1. So it was really, really good preparation for that kind of role. And it really cemented a lot of the clinical medicine um, from cardiology and the prescribing and all these things. So it's definitely had a positive impact, lovely team to work with. And what we did, on the last day, um, as a, a show of gratitude, as it were, on my part, I bought uh, the team, so one of the wards upstairs and the unit that I was on, um, I bought two massive, like, big buckets of KFC, because the one near us, near the hospital, has just reopened. So me and one of the nurses traipsing through the hospital, carrying these enormous buckets, like, uncovered of <laughs> KFC, um, bringing the smell everywhere um people commenting on it it was really really funny um here are some pictures of the team here and so just for posterity genuinely one of the best experiences i've had working not not just in medical school but but actually one of the best employment experiences i've ever had if not the best i think it's partly what makes the health service the health service where you get people that are so passionate about what they do and committed to doing the best for every single patient that comes through the door um, and being exposed to all the, the governance and the politics and the hierarchies of working in the NHS and what to do when things go wrong. Communication doesn't happen and you're, you're put into situations that you're not comfortable with, you know, you're not really trained for, but you have to do something. Um, so it's been a good exposure to how the NHS actually works and just doing things like handovers to the registrars and, you know, there were very few of us, so I had to see patients, actually examine them, try and come up with some vague sense of the history just to expedite the process when one of the registrars or the consultant um, was able to arrive and just that sort of thing. Been really, really good. Lastly, I know people have been asking, I did announce it on my social media platforms, um, TIN, very well done, huge congratulations on winning the stethoscope giveaway. Um, people were wondering when I was going to post it on here. Again, I just haven't got round to it, but um, well done. Tin's coming to medical school uh, to Warwick, in fact, in September, um, and the competition was entered for him by his very supportive girlfriend. So that was a really nice, a really nice thing to be able to do. Very pleased that it's going to someone who is not only coming to med school, but coming to my own medical school and will sort of come in as I'm going out, as it were. But if you want to keep up with my goings on, please do come and give me a follow up Postgrad Medic, particularly on Instagram. I'm trying to grow the platform a little bit more. I've got my social media plan in place. I'm doing lots of revision materials, uh, pharmacy stuff at the moment, a lot of stuff on getting into medical school. And as always, if there's any particular content you'd like to see that I haven't posted about, I want to do more Q and A's, things like that, just let me know because I'm at the whim of you guys. I still have time to make the YouTube videos. And while I do, I'd, I'd really rather tailor it to what you guys will find useful. So thanks very much guys, take care and I'll see you next time.